This episode is about the basics of soldering. This is my Hakko FX888D, and I'll leave a link to it down below. I did mention it in the first episode as well. It's a great little soldering iron, and it really is good to have a decent soldering iron, else it can be quite frustrating. And the first thing we need to do here is switch it on so we can get it up to heat. And we can see how quickly this actually gets up to heat. This is set to 400 degrees Celsius, and we're just gonna let that get to that temperature. While that's going, we see this over here. This is just a small sponge, and you need to put a little bit of water in there. This isn't essential, but it does help a little bit later on when you wanna try and clean the tip if it gets too much mess on it. That's what this is for as well. This is just a bit of steel wool, and that's also for cleaning the tip when it gets full of solder. So there we go, this is up to temperature now. If you do get your soldering iron brand new and it's the first time you're using it, I do recommend tinning the tip. And obviously my soldering iron has been used quite a bit, but tinning the tip is essentially just taking some solder and putting it onto the end of the tip. I'm gonna clean mine off because you can see there is a quite a bit of solder on the end there, so just put it in there and there we go and all you're going to do is just put quite a bit of solder on there and we can see what's happening we can clean it off and we can see that we have a nice clean tip to work with which is just what you're looking for this is an arduino and what i need to do is solder on these pins so to do that we're just going to use our helping hands over here and I'm going to use another set of helping hands to hold this in place. And then, yeah, we just hold it in place with that. So what you've got to bear in mind when you are soldering, these pins are coming through these little holes and where the holes are, there's a small metal ring and you essentially are wanting the solder to connect the pin with that metal ring so that it makes a good contact. So what you're doing is you're not actually heating up the solder. Well, you are heating up the solder, but what you're doing is you want to heat it up through the pin. So here we can see I've got the soldering iron between the joint of the pin and where it's coming through. And if I put a bit of solder on there, we can see that that's made a lovely joint. And we can do the next one as well. And again, that's a lovely joint. So just bear that in mind, you're not heating up the solder directly. What you're doing is you're heating up where the solder needs to go because you want the solder to flow into those joints. So if we look here again, nice joint so I'm just going to go through and do the rest of these it does take a little bit of practice so I wouldn't use devices like <laughs> the Arduino here I would try and get some old broken boards or something you can practice on and that'll make life a lot easier for you to actually get some good practice without damaging your devices if you follow two basic rules, soldering really is quite simple. Number one, make sure that your soldering iron is at a decent heat. And I use 400 degrees Celsius for most of my soldering. Number two, don't heat up the solder itself, the solder wire. You want to heat up where the solder wire needs to go. Make sure that you do a little bit of practice and you'll have this down in no time at all. Until the next episode, thank you so much for watching and stay spicy. I hope that you're enjoying this series and that you're getting some value out of it. And if you are, please consider supporting me on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash chilichomp. And if you sign up there to support me, then you get access to my private Discord server where there are multiple channels that you can come have discussions around anything I talk about in my videos, things like growing and source making, and of course, electronics projects and automation. So it's a good place to come and ask questions if you have any questions around automation that you're doing for yourself or anything that I've talked about in my videos. And I really hope to see you there.